Kevin Sujihara out as CEO of Warner Brothers amid sex scandal. Two weeks ago, Warner Brothers chairman and chief executive Kevin Sujihara seemed to be on the rise. His new boss at AT&T Inc. owned Warner Media had just given him an expanded role at the company after the Burbank studio notched a record year at the box office and secured a flurry of deals with key producers. That all came to a sudden end Monday, when Sujihara quit amid allegations that he had an affair with a young aspiring actress in 2013 and tried to help her get parts in movies and television shows. Sujihara's stunning exit, announced by Warner Media CEO John Stanky, came less than two weeks after the publication of salacious text messages between British actress Charlotte Kirk and Sujihara. 54. The texts were revealed in a lengthy Hollywood Reporter article that detailed the relationship and the ensuing campaign to get her meetings and auditions. Kirk appeared in minor roles in two Warner Brothers movies, the 2018 caper film, Oceans 8, and the 2016 New Line, cinema romantic comedy, How to Be Single, It is in the Best Interest of Warner Media. Warner Brothers, our employees and our partners for Kevin to step down as chairman and CEO of Warner Brothers, Stanky said in a statement. Kevin has contributed greatly to the studio's success over the past 25 years, and for that we thank him. Kevin acknowledges that his mistakes are inconsistent with the company's leadership expectations and could impact the company's ability to execute it going forward. Sujihara's downfall marks a dramatic reversal for the veteran entertainment executive, who for six years has led the company behind such lucrative film franchises as Batman, Harry Potter and Lego, as well as TV shows including The Big Bang Theory and The Kaminsky Method. Sujihara is the latest media figure to be toppled in the hashtag MeToo era, which has exposed sexual misbehavior by multiple executives, politicians and TV personalities. It was initially unclear whether Sujihara would survive the allegations, which Warner Media began investigating with an outside law firm after they came to light March 6. Unlike instances involving other top executives in Hollywood, including CBS Corp. Chairman Leslie Moonves, the accusations against Sujihara did not include harassment or assault. Kirk in a statement, denied any wrongdoing by Sujihara and said he had not promised her anything. Warner Media, at the time, said an earlier investigation conducted by the law firm Munger. Tolls and Olson did not find anything improper about the woman's casting. However, the situation became untenable as the revelations threatened to damage Warner Brothers' reputation with talent and agencies and inhibit its ability to do business in Hollywood at a crucial time for the studio. Warner Brothers is expected to be a major supplier of film and TV content for Warner Media's upcoming streaming service which is meant to compete with Netflix and soon-to-be-launched initiatives by Walt Disney Co. and Apple Inc. The texts between Sujihara, Kirk and two major film producers echoed perceptions about Hollywood's notorious casting couch culture, in which sex is exchanged for opportunities. Over the past week and a half, I have been reflecting on how the attention on my past actions might impact the company's future, Sujihara said in a memo to employees. I love this company and the people that make it so great. However, it has become clear that my continued leadership could be a distraction and an obstacle to the company's continued success. The scandal blew up at an awkward time for AT&T, Warner Media and Stanky. AT&T took over the company, formerly known as Time Warner Inc. last year in an $85.4 billion deal, and the Dallas phone giant just last month beat the U.S. Justice Department's final legal challenge to the acquisition. Warner Media also includes premium TV network HBO and Turner Networks, including CNN, TBS and Turner Classic Movies. Just two days before the scandal erupted, Stanky had given Sujihara a larger role overseeing animation at the company, including Cartoon Network and Adult Swim, amid a broad shakeup.
In addition to promoting Sujihara, Stanky on March 4 tapped former NBC chief Bob Greenblatt to run HBO and Turner Networks TNT and TBS. HBO chief Richard Plepler and Turner president David Levy departed. With the departure of Sujihara, all the senior executives from the Time Warner era have left. With the exception of CNN Worldwide President and Warner Media News and Sports Chairman Jeff Zucker, Warner Media has not yet named a replacement for Sujihara, and the company's investigation into the sex for roles allegations is ongoing, Warner Media said. After the allegations, Sujihara's attorney, Bert H. Dykesler, said Sujihara had no direct role in the hiring of this actress. The effort to replace Sujihara will be closely watched by women's rights advocates and analysts in Hollywood and beyond, who have criticized Warner Media for its male-dominated executive ranks. Warner Media is expected to consider high-profile women for the top studio job, including 20th Century Fox film chairman and CEO Stacey Snyder, who will leave her current position when the company completes its sale to Walt Disney Co. Snyder, who could not be reached for comment, took the reins at the Fox Film Studio in 2016 after leading Steven Spielberg's DreamWorks Studios and Universal Pictures. Stanky, in a note to employees, said he would announce an interim leadership structure for Warner Brothers on Tuesday. Suji Hara's exit ends a 25-year career at Warner Brothers. The grandson of Japanese immigrants and the son of a Northern California egg farmer, Suji Hara joined the studio in 1994 and spent much of his tenure overseeing the studio's digital distribution, video games and DVD sales businesses. He was named chief executive of Warner Brothers in 2013, after a two-year battle to succeed Barry Meyer as the head of the storied company. Suji Hara who had a reputation as a low-key executive was not the obvious choice to lead one of Hollywood's oldest and most powerful institutions. As head of Warner Brothers' home video division, he oversaw one of the least glamorous corners of the business. Nonetheless, he beat out two hard-charging entertainment industry veterans, television group president Bruce Rosenblum and film chief Jeff Robinov, since taking over. Suji Hara has been credited with shaping a clear strategy for the studio built around franchises such as DC Superheroes, J.K. Rowling's vast Harry Potter world and the animated Lego pictures. He helped persuade Rowling to write a series of films based on her book, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Although not every movie has worked in DC long struggled to compete with Disney's Marvel Studios. Warner posted a global box office total of $5.6 billion in 2018, a record for the company. Thanks to hits including Crazy Rich Asians, Aquaman, and A Star is Born. But Suji Hara was dogged in the last year and a half by persistent rumors about his behavior. The whispers were exacerbated by Suji Hara's association with director-producer Brett Ratner, who in 2017 was accused of sexual misconduct by six women who spoke with The Times. Ratner denied the allegations. In September, The Times and other media outlets received an anonymous email addressed to Stanky, describing an actress with the initials C.K. who received roles in Warner Brothers. Movies in exchange for her silence about the sexual behavior of a senior-level executive at Warner Brothers, Suji Hara and Kirk were introduced by Australian casino billionaire and financier James Packer, with whom Kirk had a fling, in 2013, according to the texts uncovered by The Hollywood Reporter. At the time, Packer and Ratner were trying to secure a $450 million film co-financing pact with the studio. Kirk, in her texts, pressured the men about getting her roles in Warner Brothers productions. I don't usually call about casting about these types of roles. Suji Hara wrote to Kirk in response to an inquiry about a television show, according to the Hollywood Reporter story. It's fine. 
I just need to be careful, later, according to The Hollywood Reporter, Kirk texted Ratner and suggested she was, used as icing on the cake, for the deal between Warner Brothers and Ratner's company. In an exchange with Packer, she wrote, I didn't expect to be part of a business deal so all I'm asking is you just help me with a couple of roles it's not a big deal and then we'll just put this all behind us. Through a spokesman, Kirk denied having anything to do with the slate financing deal between Warner Brothers and Packer and Ratner's company, Rat Pack Dune Entertainment. Warner Brothers last year declined to renew its deal with Rat Pack Dune. On March 13, Kirk issued an additional Longer statement, in which she blasted her portrayal in the media as conjecture and hearsay, and emphatically denied leaking her text messages to The Hollywood Reporter, but did not dispute the veracity of the texts. She said she was 19 in 2013, the year the alleged affair with Suji Hara began, adding that she was possibly a little arrogant and definitely very naive at that time. She also plugged her roles in the upcoming films Nicole and O.J. and The Reckoning, a movie Kirk co-wrote that is in pre-production. I acknowledge I may have made some poor choices and I'm sorry for that, but I've learned from my mistakes since then and have grown a lot, as a person, as a woman, and as a professional actor, she wrote.